All right, this is 102 Berlin. I'm starting from the inside on this one. This is the front door here. We got a little uh, little hallway. It looks like kind of like living room, dining room, kitchen behind there, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, I believe, in the hallway. And then the attic access in that room and basement down from the kitchen. So I'll start here on the left side, this bedroom here. This bedroom is 10 foot 9 by 12 foot 5. It's got AC window units. Uh, this vinyl window looks fine. Um, walls do not look too good. Walls are pretty look kind of beat up, kind of some rot, water rot. And that actually looks like, I don't know if that's termites or some kind of bug there, eating away the, the wood. Yep. Um, yeah, no trim. It's pretty pretty torn up in this room here. And over here across the hallway, we have, I guess you could call it a living room. And you see dining room, kitchen back in the back there. This room here is 10 foot 6 by 9 foot 11. Looks like vinyl window on the front there. Looks like that one looks like it's probably fine. Walls, ceiling in here look good. Trim looks fine. And here we have the dining room. Dining room is 10 foot 10 by 10 foot 5. Another vinyl window. Looks like it's probably good. There's like a gas fireplace type thing here. I don't know if that's actually hooked up or not. In the corner. Uh, walls look fine. Trim looks good. And then back here in the back, kitchen, very small at the moment. Kitchen is 9 foot 7 by 10 foot 5. Uh, these upper cabinets look like they're good. Upper cabinet look, cabinets look fine. Lower cabinets, they look pretty torn up. Vinyl windows in here as well, they look good. Door to the back porch, I believe there's a back deck. We'll go find out in a minute. And this back in the hallway, that's the first bedroom. Here's the bathroom in the middle of the middle of the house here. Got plastic all around the tub, plastic tiles on the walls all around. Vinyl window there, looks like it's fine. Sink cabinet's a little bit faded, but not too bad. Tub looks good. And this back bedroom here is 14 foot 5 by 8 foot 7 walls look all right this looks like there's some tile on the ceiling so it's missing uh, trim looks all right down below vinyl window looks like it's good and upstairs here in the kind of attic area Alright, so there's the stairs in this little kind of area there. And this room here, this little middle room, 11 foot by 10 foot. It's got uh, wood panels all around, drywall on the ceiling looks good. And through this door here, we have another bedroom, which is 10 foot 11 by 2 foot. Sorry. By 10 foot. AC window unit there. Looks like it's probably a vinyl window. Whew, it's hot up here. Yeah, wood panels all around up top there. So you could definitely open up this side, you know, you could take out these little walls here and open up this whole half of the house. Looks like it would be pretty easy. And then down in the basement. Basement looks like it's the full footprint of the place. Um, from the stairs here all the way to the front of the house is 27 foot 7. And from one side all the way to the other side is 24 foot 8 and there's this little this wooden separating thing there's another room on the other side of this um, let's see 
ceiling height down here. It looks like it's short. Ceiling height's only six foot three. Um, there's hookup stuff for a little half bath. Looks like. Electric box here. It's looking kind of old, but it's all hooked up. It's 100 amp. It's a little bit of like uh, maybe I don't know if that's mold or not. Doesn't doesn't look too bad if it is. There's another back d door to the backyard. And water heater. Water heater is hooked up. Looks alright. I don't want to go too far in here because there's a ton of spider webs. Alright, here we go. Alright, so HVAC here, definitely not good. It's all corroded and doesn't look good. Looks really old. Uh, water heater. Water heater looks all right, like it's probably fine. A big water tank up in the front there. All right, that's the inside. All right, doorknob came right off. So I don't know if this house even locks. All right, so uh, outside here, got a fire hydrant right out front. There's a, a community center right across the street here. Lloyd Keyser Community Center. Here's the front of the house. Kind of overgrown, lawn's real overgrown. And uh, 360, has basketball courts there at the community center, playground, big field in the back, looks like maybe some uh, baseball fields and stuff. Uh, siding looks fine. Siding looks like it's probably good. Um, there is there is a cutout here in the in the curb. I'm not sure if that's. Oh, you know what? I believe there's actually parking on the side though. This might be the other neighbor's property. Uh, side siding looks fine. Gutters are up there. A couple cars, three cars back here outside. Let's see if we can see the roof. I uh, can't really see the roof from here. And, um, looks like a decent, decent size lot. I guess it's about the same size as the neighbors' lots. And there's there lots of parking here. Siding on the back looks fine. Deck looks uh, a couple boards coming up. Underneath doesn't look too bad. Looks like it might be fine. Some of the boards on top look like they're a little warped. Looks all right. Water tank there. Did we see any HVAC? I don't think we saw any radiators. No, don't see any. Oh yeah, there's the window AC units. Yeah, right, that's about it. Kind of a busy road down there at the end of the street. And the roof, roof looks all right. Yep, roof looks like it's probably fine.
Very overgrown though, needs a lot of landscaping, looks like. All right, that's it.